Carrie and Taylor Thaxon sit down and join us for conversation ahead of the Bull Shooter Invitational Shootout 2024, our first and probably only double interview of the whole event. Uh, how are you guys doing today? Doing awesome. We're one week <laughs> out and we are ready. Yeah, it comes around the corner real quick here. And for those that are unfamiliar, can you talk to us about how you guys got qualified for this event and uh, how you got to this point? You go at first. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so I qualified through Ohio Bull Shooter, which I believe was October of last year. Uh, the women's singles event, I won and I got my inv invitation shortly after that. Now for me, I got, I got super lucky. I uh, I played Dustin Holt in the finals of the pro singles, and I believe he doubled up with JT Davis um, in Ohio um, and won the doubles. So I got the second place, you know, invitation because of him. So thank you, Dustin Holt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've heard that a few times, by the way. A couple of people saying thank you, Dustin Holt. I guess it's a reoccurring yeah. theme. <laughs> uh, now, you guys are playing in a very tough field, and every year this field seems to get tougher, in my opinion. Um, what is going to be your mindset knowing that there's not really going to be any easy matches whatsoever? Um, I think that's actually how I've been preparing, is that there isn't going to be a single easy match. Uh, even with the field of females that are coming, it's going to be an excellent tournament. I am so excited to play the best of the best, right? And I think I'm just lucky that I get an opportunity to throw against one of the best every single day. And that's how I get better. So I'm ready. I'm prepared. I'm going to show up. I'm going to show out. And I hope everyone's ready. For me, it's, um, you know, everyone had to prove themselves to get here. Um, and everyone had to go through a long day of singles format uh, to prep themselves for, you know, the biggest um, singles payout event in the United States. Um, you know, I know, I know there's some TOC events that are, are very close, um, but for an 01, an 01 format, this is, is, I mean, it's the best of the best. And, you know, doing a PDC style, uh, open in, double out, split bull, um, for a lot of, oh, sorry, puppy. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> Say hi to Leo. But, uh, hi, yeah. Leo. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, everyone had to do a long day of that and, um, so any, any, anybody that's qualified, you know, obviously has, you know, incredible talent. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to uh, go against the best. So, yeah, and the, the field is just to the brim full of talent, right? I mean, we can't really understate that enough. And, you know, follow up question here for you, Taylor, is uh, you are going against the, some veteran females in this field, but you've been playing for a little bit now. But in the last year or so, I really feel like your game has jumped up. Is that fair to say? Uh, yeah, that is definitely fair to say. Yeah, I mean, and it shows that these guys, they're going to be put on alert a little bit here. You know, there, I've, there's definitely been some people that have sentiments in the past that would maybe see some matches easier than others. You cannot underestimate any of the ladies here in this one. And in fact, who knows what could happen on the right run on the right day. If you two had to pick a favorite to win this all besides you two, who would you pick? Um. So, you know, I actually had a little bit of... Uh, I don't want to say hostility because I don't have hostility towards anyone in this game. But when Alex Spellman came out and posted looking for the three P, all I could think was you're not getting it this year. <laughs> I, I, I told Carrie, I said, baby, I don't care if it's you or me. We aren't letting it happen. <laughs> but th that's my vote. Uh, he's he's an incredible person, has an incredible game, an incredible character. Um, and he continues to display the best of the best. Um, so my only hope is I don't meet him first round. It's going to be a tough match. Could I do it? Yes, I think so. <laughs> but my, my vote is for Alex if it's not going to be myself or Carrie. Uh, I have to agree. Uh, you can't take two Pete away from him. Um, he is uh, He's a player that just goes into every event thinking he's going to win. doesn't matter who he's going to play. Um, he's taught me a lot and I've, and I've, I've been fortunate to play with him once. Um, and, you know, hopefully, you know, down the road, I get to play with him again. Um, but I'm, I actually would love to play him first round. 
I and, well, that's the difference between the factions because I do not. <laughs> and, and what's interesting, right, is like you guys are married and you guys have uh, both high echelon level of abilities. Uh, you know, we talked to you about the women's side. Now, Carrie, let me ask you here. I mean, what's it like knowing that uh, when you're playing the board at the house, the wife can beat you any day? Um, well, let's just say this. Uh, I know on her best day, she can hang with the best five. Uh, there, there has been multiple days where she's strung together three or four wins, 45 pluses, and I'm talking within the same nine legs. Uh, if she's able to produce that on, on, you know, on the, on the day of, you know, get, getting to a top four, uh, how incredible that would be. Uh, I'm, I'm so proud of the, of her game and how she's transpired, um, in the last couple of years that we've known each other. And, um, yeah, it, it would be incredible and I'd be so proud. Because so, I know I know she has the talent to do it. And let's say you guys have the miracle run, maybe opposite sides of the bracket. You guys both make it to the top four, and you're on ESPN. You're under the bright lights on camera. What would that feel like for you? Um, that would be that would be pretty incredible. Um, you know, we both went to Bull Shooter Europe and got to play on Team USA, and fortunately enough, we won. That was a pretty incredible experience, and we did it with some of our very closest friends. Um, but for this, that that would be a different level for us. Um, not a lot of couples, especially in the dark community, can say that they get to throw with their their spouse, uh, let alone win some of the competitions that we've won together. So, yes, uh, Bullshit of Europe is definitely our our number one right now. Um, ESPN would would slide right in there for sure. For me, I, if if I if if we are both fortunate enough to reach the top four, uh, I think that's a win in itself. Uh, she 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 absolutely has the talent to be uh, on on on, the, on this list in the top forty, and uh, that would just mean she had an incredible day on Thursday to to reach the top four. Uh, going you know to in, into the finals, I feel like we've already won, and she's showcased her best stuff. And obviously, if I get there. I'm excited for myself as well, but I would be more uh, proud of her, of her uh, being able to reach that as a, as a uh, you know as a, as a husband first and foremost. And um, she's put so much time into this, and um, especially in the last 18 months, uh, I would just be so excited that we would be able to share that moment together. Yeah, uh, certainly the case. And let's say this practice pays off. You, one of you goes on the run, wins it all. What does the Thaxton household use this prize money for? <laughs> well, I'm going to answer that first because it's not the same as my husband. I can tell you that. Um, we're going on a trip. <laughs> all inclusive. That's where I'm at. Um, but... We're also uh, working on building a house right now in North Carolina on the water. So I think my husband would say all the money would go towards that, where I would just like a little piece to go on a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> I would agree. Uh, obviously a trip is definitely due for that to, um, you know, to celebrate our, our, our victory or one of our, one of our victory. Um, but, you know, you know, we, we're in the transition of having, you know, two homes. And uh, I think obviously the money would be, you know, better <laughs> used uh, for our property. <laughs> certainly, certainly. It seems Leo says that they're going on the trip as well. It looks yeah, like. Leo, Leo said, what about me? I want to go on a vacation. He wants to go to North Carolina, North Carolina. There you <laughs> go. Now, is there anything you guys want to say to your friends, fans, family, or anybody else watching along? Um, we can't thank everyone enough. I mean, family, friends, locals for the support that we've had on this journey. Um, our local bar that we go to, we throw league out of, they're actually holding a, a luck of the draw this Saturday for us. Um, and so half of the buy-in goes towards us in our travel. Um, and again, we can't think, we cannot thank everybody enough. Even our babysitter for the dog. <laughs> Um, obviously, Carrie and I spend a lot of time. I don't know what that is. Did you see that? Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, Carrie and I spend a lot of time traveling for darts. We're very fortunate for the people that are close to us that will watch the dog while we travel. Um, but what a blessing it is to have so many close people to us that are, are willing to put in the time like we are. Yeah. And I, I mean, obviously, I agree. Uh, 
the, the, the amount of support we've received, you know, I sent, I sent a couple of messages to people just letting people know, you know, what the opportunity was for us. And we had zero no's. Um, and you know, one of, one of, one of our biggest additions, uh, for this journey, we just signed with Dart Train, um, out of Dayton, Ohio, uh, one of the best places to get all your supplies, uh, darts, you know, dartboards, jerseys, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, Dave and Michelle are just incredible people. Obviously, uh, Brandon Kessler with X1 Elite, uh, Nozomi with Cosmo, and you know the list goes on. You know Steve with uh, since he event streaming. Uh, My boss. Yeah, I'm boss. in commercial real estate. If yeah. anyone needs a property, reach out. <laughs> I'm Ellis and Associates. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've been in Al's Bar. That's Al's our bar. local spot. That's where we're gonna be on Saturday. Uh, sign ups at two. Throw at three thirty. It's gonna be a hell of a time. We, we were just absolutely blessed with everyone that's in our corner, 100%. Well, we are blessed to have you guys on this event. It's going to be a fun time indeed. And everyone at home, if you want to watch along, August 1st on our Facebook and YouTube Top 4 will play on August 2nd on ESPN there. And all we can wish is nothing but the best of luck for both of you.